A digital clock is a type of clock that displays the time digitally, as opposed to an analog clock, where the time is indicated by the positions of rotating hands. Digital clocks are often associated with electronic drives, but the digital description refers only to the display, not to the drive mechanism. The biggest digital clock is the Leech Seach Pigel on the television tower at Eintorm da one quarter Seldorf, Germany. History The first digital pocket watch was the invention of Austrian engineer Joseph Paul Weber who created his jump hour mechanism in 1883. Instead of a conventional dial the jump hour featured two windows in an enamel dial, through which the hours and minutes are visible on rotating discs. The second hand remained conventional. By 1885 Paul Weber's mechanism was already on the markets in pocket watches by quarter copyright BERT and IWC. Arguably contributing to the subsequent rise in commercial success of IWC. The principles of Paul Weber's jump hour movement had appeared in wristwatches by the 1920s and are still used today. While the original inventor didn't have a watch brand at the time, his name has since been resurrected by a newly established watch manufacturer. Plato clocks used a similar idea but a different layout. These spring wound pieces consisted of a glass cylinder with a column inside, affixed to which were small digital cards with numbers printed on them, which flipped as time passed. The Plato clocks were introduced at the St. Louis World Fair in 1904, produced by Ansonia Clock Company. Eugene Fitch of New York patented the clock design in 1903. Thirteen years earlier Joseph Paul Weber had patented the same invention using digital cards in Germany. The German factory Ecktyen Gesellschaft Far one quarter or Uren Fabrication Lentskirch made such digital clocks in 1893 and 1894. The earliest patent for a digital alarm clock was registered by D. E. Protzmann and others on October 23, 1956, in the United States. Protzmann and his associates also patented another digital clock in 1970, which was said to use a minimal amount of moving parts. Two side plates held digital numerals between them, while an electric motor and cam gear outside controlled movement. In 1970, the first digital wristwatch with an LED display was mass produced. Called the Pulsar, and produced by the Hamilton Watch Company, this watch was hinted at two years prior when the same company created a prototype digital watch for Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey. Throughout the 1970s, despite the initial hefty cost of digital watches, the popularity of said devices steadily rose. Over the years, Many different types of digital alarm clocks have been developed. In Soviet Russia the seven-segment digital clocks were known as Electronica 7. Construction Digital clocks typically use the 50 or 60 Hz oscillation of AC power or a 32768 Hz crystal oscillator as in a quartz clock to keep time. Most digital clocks display the hour of the day in 24-hour format. In the United States and a few other countries, a more commonly used hour sequence option is 12-hour format. Emulations of analog style faces often use an LCD screen, and these are also sometimes described as digital displays. To represent the time, most digital clocks use a seven-segment LED, VFD, or LCD display for each of four digits. They generally also include other elements to indicate whether the time is AM or PM, whether or not an alarm is set, and so on. Equal setting equals. If people find difficulty in setting the time in some designs of digital clocks in electronic devices where the clock is not a critical function, they may not be set at all, displaying the default after powered on, 000 or 1200. Digital clocks that run on mains electricity and have no battery must be reset every time the power is cut off or if they are moved. Even if power is cut off for a second, most clocks will still have to be reset. This is a particular problem with alarm clocks that have no battery backup, because even a very brief power outage during the night usually results in the clock failing to trigger the alarm in the morning. To reduce the problem, many devices designed to operate on household electricity incorporate a battery backup to maintain the time during power outages and during times of disconnection from the power supply. More recently, some devices incorporate a method for automatically setting the time, such as using a broadcast radio time signal from an atomic clock, 
getting the time from an existing satellite television or computer connection, or by being set at the factory and then maintaining the time from then on with a quartz movement powered by an internal rechargeable battery. Commercial digital clocks are typically more reliable than consumer clocks. Multi-decade backup batteries can be used to maintain time during power loss. Uses because digital clocks can be very small and inexpensive devices that enhance the popularity of product designs, they are often incorporated into all kinds of devices such as cars, radios, televisions, microwave ovens, standard ovens, computers and cell phones. Sometimes their usefulness is disputed, a common complaint is that when time has to be set to daylight saving time, many household clocks have to be readjusted. The incorporation of automatic synchronization by a radio time signal is reducing this problem. References External links, How Digital Clocks Work, History of the Digital Watch, Museum of Vintage Rare Digital LCD Wrist Watches